Hey everyone, thank you so much for purchasing my digital planner. In this video, I'll be showing you how to download and install your planner, and then I'll be showing you how to use it in GoodNotes. So if you've purchased the digital planner from my website, you would have been given a PDF, which looks like this. First of all, we are going to click on the link that says download your files and click open. It will open a Google Drive link, which looks like this. You can also change the viewing mode, to a list. As you can see, I've given you three different templates. They're all the same, they just have different colors. So let's open this one. There is two main folders, you can ignore this one. The blush stickers are the stickers and then blush planner 2021 is the actual editable interactive planner. So you're gonna click on this file and click download. So I'm just downloading the first sticker set and I'm gonna do the same with the blush planner. I'm gonna click download. So sometimes Google Drive might not download the PDF and open it straight away, but you can click on this arrow here and save it to your files. I'm just gonna save it to my download folder. Click save. I'm gonna do the same for the other two templates because I wanna have them all. Once you've downloaded all of your files, you can go into your download folders and you should have the three PDF planners, so the blush, moonshine and 70s, and then you should have three zip folders, so I'm going to click on each zip folder to unzip them. And when you open those, you should have a whole bunch of stickers, so this is the sticker set, so this is what they all look like on one page. They all are separate PNGs, and I will show you how to install them in a moment. So at this stage, you can just get rid of the zip file you don't really need it and you will have your three PDFs. so you're more than welcome here to just browse through it it will be interactive it will work but i recommend to use good notes to make the most of those templates so they definitely work in any editable pdf app you can use it with free applications but I recommend GoodNotes because, from my knowledge, it's one of the best um, note-taking app available at the moment. And um, the GoodNote app is only about $13 on the Apple Store. It's pretty much the same price as Procreate, which is not too expensive um, considering that you will be using it for all of your notes. So just go ahead and pick the template you like the most. So here's there's a couple of ways you can import your PDFs to GoodNote. You could click on the PDF and open it with GoodNote, or you could simply just go ahead and open GoodNote and import your PDFs. Let's try that. All right, so this is the main page of GoodNotes. So this is where all of your documents are. At the moment, I only just have one, so I can show you. So what we're gonna do is click new, and here we're just gonna import our planner. So I'm gonna click on import, and that should bring me to my save file, so I can click on download. Here you can just import them all and play with each and every one of them. Here I'm just gonna open the 70s planner and show you guys how it works. All right, so there it is. If you've never used GoodNotes before, there's a couple of things you need to remember. I learned it in just a day. It's super simple and I promise that once you know the main things, it's very straightforward. So there's pretty much two main modes that you need to know about and you're gonna be switching between the two. So there is the viewing mode and the editing mode. The viewing mode is what is going Going to help you to flip through your pages, uh, flip to your calendar and the editing mode is obviously the one that will let you write notes and add stickers and all that kind of stuff. So at the moment when I open it because I was in this mode already it's in the editing mode so you can see here it has like a bunch of pencils and some little icons and I'm gonna start by showing you the viewing mode first. So to switch to the viewing mode it's very simple you just click on that little um, icon there. So it's a little pencil. Um, this pencil has a little circle, means that you will be editing. So if you click on it, it's edit, and then you're going to go back to non editing. So it's a crossed pencil, and you click on that. So now we're in the viewing mode, and we can just tap on every tab, on every icon, and it should be interactive and do a lot of things. 
At the moment here, when you open the planner, we are on the home page. So this icon here, the little house, is the home page. So this is the home page. And then you can click on the early view, which is going to bring you to the main calendar. If you go back to your home page, you can also click on 2021, which is going to bring you to the same page, the calendar. With the calendar, you can actually click on each month. If I click, say, on the month of May, it's actually going to bring me to the monthly view for the month of May. So you could go back to your yearly calendar and click on any month. You can also click on each and every single week in this planner. So let's say we are actually the 30th of June today, so I'm going to click on this week here and it's actually bringing me to week 26 in 2021 and let's go back to the home page the last thing that is included in this planner are the creative briefs so if you click on creative brief here you can also click on this little icon there it will bring you to this page which i'll have a tutorial on how to fill this creative brief this is what i use all the time whenever I work on a new project. I like to have all of my information in one place. I like to have the brief, the deadline and the goals and some kind of rough ideas. And I just like to use that for my bigger project and keep that in place. So I've given you 10 creative brief in this planner. Of course, you can duplicate a page or you can erase what you have and rewrite on it. So. 10 should be just enough. So let's go back to the home page. What I'm going to show you now is how to edit and take notes. So I'm going to show you obviously my way of taking notes. There's plenty of ways of doing it. There's hundreds of uh, good note tutorials on YouTube available these days. Some of them are truly amazing. I've watched some of them myself. So if there's anything that is a bit tricky that you're not sure how to fix, I'm pretty sure that you could find the answer online but I'm gonna show you my way of editing and taking notes. Let's go to the current week. So I know we are in June and we are the Wednesday, 30th of June. So I'm gonna click on this week. Let's edit this week. Let's add um, a couple of things. You can click on that little pencil here and now we are in the editing mode. All you need to know about are those little icons over there. They're very simple. This is just a, a zooming window. So if you want to write something in this small area here, it's just zooming for you so you can see what you're doing. I'm not a fan of it personally, just because you guys can zoom your page just like that. I guess it really is depending on your personal preference, but just so you know, it's there. Second uh, tool is the pen. Of course, probably the most important. So if you guys are Procreate users, there is pressure sensitivity, but it's nothing compared to Procreate, of course. But this is going to be great just to take rough and quick notes. So you've got three different pens. Um, I would recommend that you go ahead and play with the different settings. I personally like the bold pen just because it's simple and it just works for me. So the next one is the eraser. So let's say, for example, on Monday, you are going to write, you can click on your eraser and just erase. If you want to undo, you just click on this little arrow, get different sizes for your eraser, pretty simple. And the next one you need to know is the highlighter, which here you can change the color, just like the ball pen, you can change its color here. Um, and then if you click on the eraser and you don't want to erase everything, you just want to erase the highlighter, you just click on the eraser and click erase highlighter only and you'll just erase the highlighter. And then you untick and erase it. So it's fairly simple, very straightforward. Everything is very self-explanatory, to be honest. It will take you only a couple of minutes to get used to it, um, particularly if you use to Procreate. A lot of things are totally similar. So with the shapes, just like Procreate, it's very awesome. You can just create the ugliest circle and it will make a perfect circle for you. The same thing, you could create triangles, squares and things like that. So this is the lasso tool. It's super useful. So whenever you write something, you can just 
select whatever it doesn't have to be perfect and you can move it around and you can also decide to select just one word and you will um, move just that one word all right so this icon is my favorite is the stickers so creating stickers for good notes is really simple as well all you need to do is create a png so if you are a procreate user you will just need to save your image without a background and save it as a png save it to your files and then you could include it into your good note app that's how you could uh, create custom hand lettering you could create extra stickers if you wanted to pretty much anything that you would want to create and draw by hand in procreate and export to good notes you would do it like that at the moment you can see i've already imported the stickers that i've created for this particular planner but I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's really simple. So if you just click on this little icon here, it will open this window. And if you just slide those icon down the bottom, you can click on this little plus sign here and it will actually create a new collection. So you're gonna click import from and here you can go into your download folders and you can see the three folders including the stickers so you're more than welcome to just include all of the stickers you can mix and match you don't have to just stick to the color palettes to match the actual planner you can definitely import all of them but i'm just going to import the 70s stickers to match this planner and what you want to do is just click on each sticker individually so it's a bit of a long process but you actually need to import every sticker individually in good notes so you would just click on import from again and click the next sticker and so on until you've imported all the stickers you want and then you can give a name to this collection so you can call it whatever you want and then you would just click create so in my case because i've already done it i'm just gonna click cancel so here you will see that all of your stickers are in this collection called 70s and you can just click on any stickers you want let's say it's christmas and it's gonna bring that sticker in the middle of your page it's actually super big at the moment so you need to resize it you just click on this little arrow and you just resize it so you can move it to the side do whatever you need to do and then you can click on that stickers and just move it wherever you want if you want to get rid of a stickers for any reason you cannot use the eraser so you can use this lasso tool to move it around so you just circle it anywhere and you can move it but if you want to get rid of it you actually need to hold and tap until it brings up this text and you can click on edit and it will bring up that window again and that's where you can actually press the red cross and delete it if you wanted to duplicate it you can just click on that icon and drag it somewhere else you see, see this plus sign it means it's going to duplicate it but then it's going to duplicate it actual size so you actually need to resize it however you want and that's how you play with stickers just like stickers you could add images so that links to your camera roll here you can add actual text so if you didn't want to write um, because um, you I don't know don't like your handwriting or feel a bit lazy you can type wherever you want so you just click anywhere and you can start typing and of course you can play with different fonts you could change its size you could change the color all right and if you want to delete it you just need to go back to the edit and delete your text this little icon over here is a pointer so it's just going to point wherever you want to point let's say you were showing something to someone you could use that you can also change it to be a line and it's just gonna erase so you could use that in a presentation if you're showing something to somebody which is really cool so that's pretty much 
all you need to know to get started with good notes obviously there's a lot more things you can do with good notes but that's just the basics that we covered today and that should get you started with taking notes on your digital planner in good notes one last thing before we finish i want to show you this option so if you click on this little dots here you can change the scrolling direction so at the moment you see that if you want to scroll through your journal it's horizontal which i love like because it feels like an actual planner but i know some people are used to more of a, a vertical scrolling so whatever you prefer you just click on those dots and change the scrolling direction so i'm gonna keep mine to horizontal because i quite like it and that's it guys i hope this made sense i hope this was easy enough and i really hope that you enjoy playing with your planner. This planner is just for 2021, of course, which means that it's been sold for half the price because we only have half of the year left. But I will have another one coming out very soon for 2022, so you can start planning the new year. And of course, guys, if you have any questions, any feedback, anything you'd like to know, anything else you'd like to see, or even if you want to have a different colored planner, whatever you want to know, just let me know and and I will do my best to make it happen. Enjoy!